CSIR presents Indian Institute of Toxicology Research, Lucknow. CSIR IITR is one of the premier toxicological research organizations in India. Toxicants present in water, air and soil pose a constant threat to human beings and animals on our planet. Intensive industrialization has been a hallmark of a nation's progress. But this progress has resulted in the release of industrial pollutants, chemicals and toxins endangering the health of all living beings. Since ages, human beings have been devising ways to fight such toxic load on human bodies through various sources. Such substances are called xenobiotics. A xenobiotic is a foreign chemical substance found within an organism that is not normally naturally produced by or expected to be present within that organism. A country can only have a healthy human resource if it can fight the environmental pollutants, xenobiotics with efficiency and such an act needs constant research in the world of chemicals and toxicants. Most of these xenobiotics do not result in uniform symptoms or effects on human beings. Each individual may respond to a toxicant in a different way. Therefore, only intrinsic and continual toxicological research could ensure relative safety from the onslaught of xenobiotics. Indian Institute of Toxicology Research is the constituent laboratory of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, Government of India. It is a premier research organization in Asia and was established on 4th November 1965 as Industrial Toxicology Research Center. It is located on Mahatma Gandhi Marg in Lucknow, facing the famous historical building of Shadar Manzil Palace, overlooking River Gomti. ITRC was formally dedicated to nation on 27 July 1976 by the then President of India, His Excellency Sri Fakhruddin Ali Ahmad. CSIR IITR has played a major role in safeguarding the human and environmental health in the country. The state of specialized instrumentation coupled with dedicated force of researchers at CSIR IITR is taking new challenges every day. The mandate of CSIR IITR not only includes the study of xenobiotics on human health but also on water, soil and air. Monitoring of different state of the environment has resulted in valuable information generated by expert CSIR IITR scientists. The objectives of CSIR IITR symbolizes a country's commitment towards sustainable industrialization and development. These are primarily classified as per the human requirements. For example, identification of occupational health hazards due to exposure to chemicals in industries, mines, agricultural fields and general environment by undertaking health and environmental surveys. Determining the mode of action of toxic chemicals and pollutants. Conduct safety evaluation of chemicals used in the industry, agriculture and everyday life. To suggest remedial and preventive measures to safeguard health and the environment from pollutants. To collect, store and disseminate information on toxic chemicals. And to develop human resource for dealing with industrial and environmental problems. The data generated in the institute's laboratories help in formulating guidelines for regulating the use of chemicals and prescribing their limits. The institute has also developed test systems for the evaluation of effluents using biological species and for screening of the dermal, reproductive, immunotoxic, genotoxic, 
carcinogenic and mutagenic potential of chemicals. It has carried out extensive toxicity studies on dyes, pesticides, heavy metals, plastics, polymers, food colors, herbal products and fiber leading to newer diagnostic, preventive and interventional strategies. CSIR ITR provides a unique platform for the public and entrepreneurs to answer all the queries and concerns regarding the safety and toxicity of chemicals and other products. The Societal Impact At the time of Bhopal gas tragedy, due to the leakage of methyl isocyanate in 1984, the Institute sent a team of experts as a relief team to treat the gas-exposed victims. The Institute played an active role in providing clean drinking water during the Orissa cyclone disaster. Water purification devices like Amritkom have successfully increased access to safe drinking water throughout the country. CSIR ITR scientists also played a vital role in the expeditious analysis of edible oil samples during the epidemic dropsy that hit Delhi in August 1998, involving over 2,500 victims with more than 60 deaths. Dropsy is caused due to the consumption of mustard oil adulterated with arjuman oil and could even lead to death in extreme cases. The laboratory has remained in the forefront in addressing the human health and environmental problems of the country and participated actively in the national missions and societal programs such as the National Drinking Water Mission, Technology Mission on Oil Seeds, Pulses and Maize and monitoring of the Ganga, Yamuna and Gomti waters. The five decades of experience and knowledge base in toxicological research has empowered the institute to conduct research in the contemporary areas food drug and chemical toxicology food is of paramount importance as it is required for leading a healthy life there is increasing concern about contamination of food either through the environmental pollution or adulteration throughout the globe to ensure an adequate food supply during non-agriculturally productive periods, it has become necessary to find methods to preserve and process the food. With the fast growth of food processing industries, the trend towards use of various food additives for better shelf life has also increased. The adulteration of food due to deliberate mixing of inferior grade agents for disguising and to earn undue profits is also a serious problem. Unintentional contaminants may appear during field production or processing. The scientists working in this group are utilizing state-of-the-art technology and are involved in research endeavors which include unraveling of methodologies to quantify the potential toxic agents in food, mechanism of toxicity of food additives, contaminants, adulterants, detection of GM crops and their safety, and identification of herbal preparations which can modify the toxicity of these chemical moieties. Nanotherapeutics and Nanomaterial Toxicology Technology innovations have led to the emergence of nanotechnology as a new field which is revolutionizing the industrial development. In fact, manufacturing of nanomaterials of various shapes and compositions has increased in the last few years, with a vast potential of use ranging from diagnostic imaging to molecular construction. With the realization of entirely new dimensions of safety of nanomaterials, CSIR IITR initiated work in the area of toxicity evaluation of nanomaterials. The mission and goals of the scientists of Nanomaterial Toxicology Group are to investigate health and environmental effects of nanomaterials, to delineate their toxicity and assure safe usage in consumer products and therapeutics. The scientists in the group have competence in synthesis 
and detailed characterization of the nanoparticles. In vitro and in vivo toxicity addressing issues of cytotoxicity, genotoxicity, immunotoxicity, dermal toxicity, neurotoxicity, reproductive toxicity, aquatic toxicity, and ecotoxological impact of the ENMs. Systems toxicology and health risk assessment. Humans are exposed to many chemicals not only in the form of drugs but also through the environment. In order to understand the risk of drug and chemical exposure to human health, it is necessary to understand how these xenobiotics may affect normal cellular processes and eventually lead to toxicity. The advent of high throughput genomic screens has led to the possibility of much greater breadth of understanding of the effect of xenobiotics in biological systems. This group attempts to integrate the traditional methods of experimental toxicology with high throughput systems, data analysis and modeling tools to allow for a more sensitive and early detection of adverse effects for use in risk assessments as well as in the development of novel biomarkers of exposure and effect. Environmental Toxicology Environmental toxicology refers to the scientific study of the potential effects of anthropogenic compounds on organisms released into the natural environment. A large variety of chemicals, synthetic products and engineered nanomaterials are released into the environment every year. The challenge is to create ways to efficiently predict toxic potential and exposure levels for chemicals that lack toxicological and exposure data in the environmental settings. The mission and goals of the Environmental Toxicology Group are to explore cellular, genetic and organismal approaches for detection and mitigation of the various environmental pollutants. The scientists in the Environmental Toxicology Group have competence in the areas of mechanism of toxicity of environmental pollutants, sensors and probes for the detection of biological contaminants, remediation of soil, water and industrial waste, ecotoxicity and environmental impact. Regulatory Toxicology Safety of human health and environment is the primary concern of the world. The adequacy and the quality of safety data allows regulatory decisions for the production, marketing, transport, storage, labeling and usage of a wide variety of industrial chemicals, agrochemicals, pharmaceuticals, cosmetic products and food additives that have an overriding influence on the sustainment and quality of our life and environment. CSIR IITR is the only institute in the CSIR family to have international accreditation in the form of toxicity testing known as GLP or Good Laboratory Practice. Regulatory toxicology is therefore to assure the well-being of our populace. Validating the product specifications and helping regulatory decisions to support Indian industry in global positioning of the equally credible products. Outreach The outreach activities related to environmental pollution, health risk and mitigation of such problems are regularly made available to the scientific community and also to the public. A concerted effort is being made to sensitize the general public and students in particular towards environmental issues and ethics. The Science and Technology Knowledge Center of CSIR IITR serves as an excellent information resource of books, journals, databases 
and reference material in the field of toxicology in the country. Documents from the IARC, WHO, FAO, EPA, OECD, IRPTC, ILO, BIS are available in the institute's library. In December 2000, CSIR IITR received accreditation from NABL as a biological and chemical testing laboratory for air quality, environmental impact, chemical and bacteriological quality of water and effluents, chemical and biological safety of plastics, residue analysis of pesticides, metal and safety evaluation of a vast variety of chemical products. Based on the expertise, CSIR IITR has been recognized by agencies such as UP Pollution Control Board Lucknow, Central Pollution Control Board New Delhi, and the Bureau of Indian Standards. ITR celebrated its Golden Jubilee year during 2015-16, which was marked by the presence of Honorable Minister of Science and Technology, Dr. Harsh Vardhan and many several senior scientists from different Lucknow institutions were also present to attend the event. The Institute celebrated its annual day on 4th November 2015, during which all the digitized documents were released. The Institute has always remained in the forefront for generating trained human resources in the area of industrial and environmental toxicology. It provides summer training to postgraduates, doctoral and postdoctoral training to students from all over the country. The Institute is actively involved in the various Government of India initiatives and programs such as Digital India, Namami Gange, Make in India, Smart City Mission, Skill India, Accessible India Campaign, Swachh Bharat Abhyan, and so on.